So how do we do this one? So Laura chooses a number less than 100. So let's just pick a number n and say this one is less than 100. So this number, she divides it by 3 then subtracts 11. She then divides this answer she gets by 2 and finally she, she should end up with 10.5. What was the number she started with? Now this is a, a very famous case of inverse operation. So every time you get an answer, you have to get the original number, you need to go backwards. So you need to do the whole process in reverse. So we need to do everything backwards. Now, let's start from the back. So it said that she divides a certain result by 2 and gets 10.5. So what you could do, instead of dividing by 2, you multiply by 2. And if you do that, 10.5 times 2 should give you a 21. Now, from this point on, so let me put 21 here actually. So doing it backwards, so it says here that subtracts 11. So the opposite of subtracting 11 is adding 11. So 21 plus 11 should give us 32. Finally, in the beginning, it says divide by 3. So instead of dividing by 3, we multiply by 3. So it'd be 32 times 3. And 32 times 3 is quite easy. It would be um, 96. Oh my god, that was so slow. And there we go, and this answer is less than 100, and yes. So the number she started with was 96.